So what we're going to do now is we're going to try this speed dating idea. And what I want you to do is I want you to sit down with a total stranger. I want you to quickly introduce yourselves and get through the pleasantry part, which should take about 30 seconds. I want you to just talk for a couple minutes about your interests. Like You're going to be completely different, right? This is a random person you've never met before, probably. This person is going to be completely different from you. So you're going to talk, and you're going to throw out some ideas. And on a piece of paper, you're going to write down some business ideas just that come out of your little couple of minute interaction. Right? So um, one of you might be interested in knitting. Okay? Business idea. Um, we create a shop that sells knitting products. We create a new machine for knitting. We, I, you know, I don't know. But if you just sit there for a couple minutes and spin it, you can come up with a whole bunch of little ideas. And I want the two of you to do this together. Then I want you to pick one of those ideas that you think is the most interesting one that you might want to share with the class. I'm not going to force you to share it with the class, but I'm going to give you the opportunity if you think you have a really interesting one to share it with the class. And if possible, I want you to briefly discuss how you might explain this to people in one sentence. Okay, so what is how stuff works? We explain how everything works. Okay, this is not a complicated concept. What is Papa John's? We sell pizza <laughs> to people who call us on the phone, and we drive it over to their house. What is Walmart? We have a whole bunch of shelves, and we put stuff on it, and people pick it off the shelf, and they buy it. I mean, these are not, just come up with a sentence that describes what your idea is. If you want to be more flowery than that, please feel free to, you know, to couch it in all kinds of cool business words, like, we are going to, I can't even do it. I'm sorry. I'm not that kind of person, but... Okay, so you count it off, right? So I want 1 through 11 here. So 1 to 11. Okay, then I want, and 1 through 11 are going to stand facing this way. So if you're number 1, you're going to stand here. Number 2, 3, 4 through 11. Then I want 12 through 22 to stand here. You might want to sit down with your partner. I want you to just pause for a second and think about this moment in history. So right now in this room, we have 11 business ideas, right? Utterly new, potentially. Probably the most diverse set of 11 business ideas ever created because it could be anything, right? There's no limit to what is possible. Um, and I, th there's something uniquely human about this. Like you sat down with another person you didn't know and you came up with some business ideas. So no other species, as far as we know, no other species in the universe can do what just happened here. So it's kind of interesting to put it in the big picture kind of perspective <laughs> thing. Um, does anybody want to share their business idea? Uh, okay. <laughs> one was a kind of like a PayPal-ish uh, bill payer, automatic bill payer. And what you um, our second idea was for our main target client would be people that are trying to do like mass amounts of rendering or. Okay. So uh, one was a jewelry shop. Um, the other idea we had was a cupcake factory, something like Subway, except there it's is this cupcake. iconic uh, Russian condensed milk, and it's really popular there. So <laughs> I was thinking of importing it. 
to hear and uh, to develop a wine that didn't cause hangovers. <laughs> <laughs> and that, um, Centennial Campus has yet to have a good food source, so we were thinking like there's this organization called Raleigh Takeout. You call and they go get your food from anywhere. I'm sure these are all over, but it's strictly for Centennial Campus. Segment. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, we're looking at apparel. Okay, totally customized. As in we all he said he got a t-shirt which can will change color according to the temperatures. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking through. it's a web portal which would serve as a networking platform for NCSU students with regard to mainly with regard to book trade. Basically create a training service teaching that customer service value. Oh, yeah. it was uh, recycling people that don't recycle kind of bothered us and people that just throw away recycling and we were discussing potentially ways that we could improve that rate by um, Our idea is based on the knowledge and fact that um, uh, intellectual property rights is becoming one of the big issues um, between countries. Right. See, that was utterly fascinating. <laughs> i got to <laughs> tell you, utterly fascinating. And so, you, as you were listening to other ideas, you, you might, sure, you might have noticed some things happening inside your brain. You might have noticed some ideas you might have listened to and you said, um, I know of companies that are doing that or that are related to that that you might want to know about. You might have heard ideas where you thought, I thought of that. You know, that, I, that happens a lot where you, you've thought about it in the past or whatever and here's somebody else is talking about it as well. You might have thought, um, of different extensions to the idea or things like that. It's just the the point is, or a point is, there's millions and millions of possible business ideas that are as diverse as what we heard here. And if you sort of understand that coming up with ideas is a relatively straightforward process like you could just sit down in a cafe with a stranger and say hey I want to play a game with you for the next 10 minutes let's come up with some business ideas the person of course would have you arrested but <laughs> if they didn't have you arrested you you know you could sit down with friends and just spin business ideas if you wanted to on a weekend possibly while drinking wine that's fortified with nutritional elements but just to lubricate things but Here's what I would, like, let's say you have in your head the idea that you might like to get started with a business. What I would suggest that you do is you just, you sort of think about whether you'd like to start it alone or with somebody else. And you, if you're going to start it with somebody else, get up with that somebody else and go through this. But if you're going to do it alone, do it alone. Take two weeks kind of be observant about the world around you and write down every single possible business idea. I don't care if it's trivial or complex, um, whether it's harebrained or rational or you know silly or not. Write down every business idea that crosses your head. And if you're just looking out at the world with those eyes, you're going to see a lot of potential business ideas. You might see a hundred in a couple weeks. And you've got a bunch that are already in your head that you've thought, somebody ought to do blah. Just write down a hundred, two hundred ideas over the course of a couple weeks. Okay, then take that list and look at it. And now you've got the opposite problem. You've got too many ideas, right? <laughs> like now you've got a whole list of a hundred ideas. How are you going to pick one? Okay, I will tell you how I pick, which is not necessarily the best way. I'm just going to tell you how I pick. I would go through the list, and I would pick the thing that, would, that excites me the most at that moment. So here's my situation. I have four kids and a lovely wife, and you know the four kids are all in school, and, and thing, it's busy at my house. I have a normal job. I have four kids. I have, you know the random stuff that happens. So what I need is a business idea that really, really excites me and causes me to wake up in the morning and think, I got to work on this just because it's cool. Okay, and if you look at my, um, what's the right word, scattered history 
of you know in the business world I have ideas that work and ideas that don't and I have lots of ideas that don't work but the thing is that the ideas that didn't work because I use this algorithm of what you know what excites me or another way to say it would be to say which of these strikes me as the most joyous thing I could work on right now like the thing that really would make me happy to do the the nice thing about that algorithm is even if it doesn't work out it was something that was exciting or joyous that you were working on and so you can always look back and say wow that was a really cool period of time when I built that thing that totally failed you know and even though it failed um, it was still cool so make your list come up with your you know, narrow it down and then just pick the thing that's most exciting to you or most joyous to you or whatever and try it and see what happens. And either way, whether it fails or succeeds in a business sense, it'll still succeed in the sense that you will have done something you enjoyed. Um, so let me tell you one more thing and then we'll be done. One of the projects I launched very recently um, is a website that's called decidingtobebetter.com. This is another lark. I, I have no idea if it'll work or not. Um, but from your perspective, here's why it might be interesting. And, and you could, um, if you go to marshallbrain.com, you'll see a link to it. One of the things I am doing under that is I get email from people with random business questions and what I'm trying to do now is funnel them into this website so that they can ask their question in a forum and other people can benefit from the answer. So if you have business questions, like let's say you listen to this and you think about it for a couple weeks and then you want to get something started and you get stuck or you have questions or you don't know what to do next or whatever you could come there and just drop a question in the forum and I will answer it. Like this is, I'm trying to build a community of people who want to start businesses so that if it were to work, it would reach critical mass and you'd have a whole bunch of people interacting together freely with each other, uh, helping each other get business ideas going. And I'm one member of that who happens to have some business experience. So right now, uh, a lot of this looks like an echo chamber, right? Because it's just a couple of people who've ever visited it. It's, it's just been launched and it has no traffic. But from your perspective, this is an ideal time to drop a question in there because I'm actively trying to get it to work. And if you drop a question, I'm going to take the time and I'm going to answer your question is in as much detail as I possibly can because I want to, this community to take some kind of form. So you can come there with anything, drop a question in the forum, and we can have a conversation. And then hopefully other people would see it and over time a community will develop or not. It doesn't matter to me because I have had a lot of fun building it, right? I, I think it's a cool idea and it's been joyous for me. So. Uh, if you do have questions, go to the whole, go to marshallbrain.com, go to the deciding to be better part and just ask away in the